Okay, welcome back. In our first, last video. On our last video, we managed to be able to move our alien backwards and forwards, our alien ship. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these aliens and we're going to start moving them backwards and forwards down here. But we're going to show you the process we take. Let's have a look. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to define our alien move program. Um, so this is for alien one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go playground, click on the italisense, dot move, and we're going to move it, the alien, and we're going to move it, say, uh, five and five. Okay, now at the moment, all that's going to do is make the alien move down, but it's actually not going to do anything at this stage because what we need to do down here is we need to actually um, make it move. So let's make it move down here. So we go alien move. And so now it's going to move, but all it's going to do is move one space. Let's have a look. So you can see it's moved a very small amount. Uh, so you see before these this alien was actually the same height as those, but now it's not. It's slightly down, slightly to the right. So what are we going to do with that then? So to make it actually move more, we've got to actually uh, tell it when to move. So what we want to do is we want to say, all right, so root dot after and this will give us a little bit of time but say after one second um, oh, let's say a tenth of a second alien move so what it's going to do is it's going to loop back on itself the alien move now is going to run that program again so what this will happen is it's going five to five. So it's actually going to go down on an angle like that. Let's have a look. And as you can see, it's going down on an angle like that. And the reason it's actually uh, going so slowly is to do with this number here. So if I actually uh, made that 50, we're going to actually speed it up. Watch. It's sped up. It's probably twice the speed. Well, that's not very good because we don't want the alien just to go like that. We want it to move backwards and forwards at some kind of random kind of thing. So that does mean that we probably need to bring in the random module. Now we've got the we've imported the random module up here, and if we just in here write, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do our my x position equals, um, let me see, we'll go uh, random dot rand int. So we're going to do it between certain numbers. And, and we're actually going to do it between, say, negative 20 and 20. So it's going to move either this way or this way could be even up to 20 this way, but it could be five this way, it could be four this way, um, and then it's gonna move backwards and forwards. It could move backwards and forwards. So my x that way, and then we want my y equals random dot rand int. And this time we don't want it to go backwards up and down. So what we wanna do is say, put it between five and 15. And so now we've got to change these figures here. So this one's the X position. So we'll just call that my X. And this one's the Y position. So we'll call that my Y. So now it's actually going to move randomly down. So let's watch this. So as we can see, it's moving randomly down. It's pretty good, okay. The problem with this now is the fact that the alien comes all the way down, but it disappears. 
Um, so what we want to do is we want to actually, when it gets to a certain pos position, we want the alien to move back up to the top of the screen. We want to find the coordinates of the alien. And so we're going to create a, um, a, a variable called my coordinates. And they are going to actually be the playground uh, dot B box is the word, B box. And that actually gets the outside coordinates of the alien. Um, and we're going to say of the alien. So we want to get the B box coordinates. And what the B box coordinates are is that it works out the distance of the coordinates. So I want you to imagine that the coordinates of this pro, um, or the B box coordinates of this particular um, alien are this very end here, this very end here, this very end here, and this very end here. So these are the first set of coordinates and this is the second set of coordinates. So when we go my coordinates equals playground.bbox alien, that's what we're actually collecting. So it collects all those sets of coordinates. Now, if my coordinates And which set of coordinates? We want the, uh, the um, second set of coordinates. Um, remember the first set of coordinates would be zero. Um, so the second set of coordinates, that's that bottom set of coordinates. If they are greater than 800, then playground.chords alien is actually going to be 600 comma 50. So what we're doing is if the coordinates get greater than 800, so it comes down and it goes greater than 800, it's going to immediately put the alien back at the 600 position to the right, to the right and 50 down. So let's see how this works. Let's run that. So it's coming down. As soon as it gets below 800, it comes back up there. So you can see it just continues to roll on through. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And you can see this alien, he's, he's moving pretty systematically. We can make it a bit more extreme in its movement by making the left and right um, random coordinates just a little bit bigger. So let's have a look at this. So we've got negative 20 for the X and positive 20. What if we did 25 and 25? Let's see how more extreme that is. You can just fiddle with these coordinates until we can see a little bit more. So that's a little bit more um, extreme in the behavior, um, which makes it harder to actually play, which is good for what we want. So watching it here a bit more extreme isn't it and we could make it more extreme again we could change it to negative 30 and 30 we want to keep these balanced so that it basically goes one way and then the other so let's run that So there's a little bit more extreme possibilities with that particular one. So that is how we create the alien to move backwards and forwards. I hope this is helpful. We'll see you in the next video.